Alright, so you can probably tell I skipped through some of the footage. No, it just seemed kind of repetitive. You've seen a lot of things done before. As you can see, it's all done. I'll bring you through it, take a little tour. Now, this is made all out of recycled or reused material. So, here on the shelves and side braces, you got MDF. The rest of it's all plywood. So, down here, you got all the screws, nails, small nails, sockets and wrenches, everyday stuff, a little catch all. Over here's where I'm going to keep all my chisels and planes. All this is all from Harbor Freight, except for these two are Stanley. It's a Buck Brothers, that's a Buck Brothers. And that's Harbor Freight. All that's all Harbor Freight. I got this off the tool truck at work. It works nice. I mean, for Harbor Freight, if you're not doing everyday use with these, they're not bad. I think I'm going to sharpen them here pretty soon. Over here I got <clears throat> all my measuring tools. Hardwood mallet. Another one. This one actually is pretty cool. This one I made out of recycled oak hardwood flooring. Real basic. Leather face on it. Damn it. So, squares, small rulers, long ones, short ones, angle, um, circle jig thingy. Squares over here. Everything's got a home. So I know where everything is. Actually, something's missing. There. It's all put away now. The only thing I didn't think about is this is kind of an extra add-on I did today. But this, so what I did was the screws I don't use too often. I put in behind the screwdrivers. So I'm not going to need to get to those too often. Same thing over here. These are right there, I can get to those. But over here, scraper, cordless ratchet. I just use it with an attachment for screws. Drills. It's a cordless grinder. Some work. Small screwdriver, it's a snap-on. I upgraded. So I brought this one home. But and I didn't put the pocket holes in there because what I'm gonna do. I'm going to make another separate little cubby shelf here for the extra screws, especially the pocket hole screws and some other stuff. And up top, we got the Star Wars stuff. So, it didn't turn out half bad. I'm pretty happy with it. Only other thing I need to do is find a spot for my hammers. I mainly just use these three. And there's a small ball peen, large ball peen, and a tack hammer. That's mainly all I use. And chargers, phone, nuts, bolts, all kinds of random shit. I mean, literally, just bottle caps, screws, and license plate inserts for work. This is all stuff that's probably 10 years old. But I got inspired to make this from Woodworker 631. Mine's not nearly as nice as his. Mine's all made out of scraps thrown together. You've seen in the video, some of it was pretty well warped. So there's certain spots that didn't come out too great. Like over here, there's a big gap between this bottom shelf and the side shelf. So I just threw this in there, glued the hell out of it, and nailed and screwed it. And it's holding it in pretty good. And I just put a little 45 biters up there to hold everything. Another problem I have is too is I'm paranoid, so I got shelf brackets underneath the cabinet, even though it's screwed to the wall. I forgot about them, so what I had to do, I had to notch it out where those brackets are at. There was three of them, but it worked out. It was good enough. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. This actually been working on this for the past week. I've had all kinds of orders. I mean, the shop is a complete mess right now. There's tools and wood and scraps over there is just an absolute mess. I can hardly get to my sanding station. But it's all about being inspired and having fun. Thanks for watching. Yeah.